Radio, it's how to hack your pet, only on how to EGD, and we are zooming in on the two-point perspective and the requirements with an example at the end of how you're going to nail this drawing. Now, to start us off, page 14, 5.3, let's look at the instruction. Draw a detailed bird's eye view. Oh, stop right there. A bird's eye view. In other words, you your eye is going to be higher than the actual building looking down onto that building. You're not going to be standing on an eye level looking at this building. It's from above. And it's going to be a two-point perspective drawing of the building that shows, okay, what? The entrance to the media center. Okay, so when you position your bird here to view your media center, make sure that you see the entrance and include a three meter section of the undercover walkway leading to the existing buildings. Okay, so you're going to be zooming out, you're going to include the entire media center, but the entrance part of that media center, and you're going to show a three meter section going towards the existing buildings. So not the complete walkway leading to the buildings, only a partial part. The horizon line must be at the same height, as or in line with the top of the roof building. Okay, there they specify for you the height of that horizon line. It must be the same height as the roof of the building. I'm going to show you an example how to position that. All right, then evidence of the following must be part of the submission. All views or drawings used to produce this perspective drawing. All views and drawings used. The construction method used. They want to see how did you construct this to produce this perspective. Note, you can use a, or you must use a copy of this perspective drawing, which may contain artistic features. In other words, you can color it in a little bit as the picture for the cover of your pet portfolio. So this drawing is going to go onto your cover page when we are finished with this. That's what is detailed here at 5.3. Let's look at the checklist that corresponds with that. So again, Two-point perspective showing the entrance to the media center as well as the three-meter section of the walkway. The evidence of the views used as well as construction and projections used to prepare the drawing. Correct orientation of the building with HL at the same height as the top of the roof. Detail and correctness of the perspective drawing. That's going to be most of your marks here. Now the scale for this drawing, ladies and gentlemen, really does not matter. Okay. That you might find that interesting, but I'm going to show you why. Let's look at an example. Okay, take a moment and have a look at this drawing. And then take a deep breath as I'm going to help you gain some understanding here. First of all, note that this drawing is going to take some time. And it's worth planning this on a loose piece of paper to get your spacings right. Okay, it's going to be exactly like the drawings that you've done in class or in previous exams. You're going to have your two views. In this instance, it's the front view where your main entrance is going to be drawn. Corresponding to that, you're going to have a side view on the other side. Now, the scale that you're going to use for this, you can actually determine that on your end, depending on, of course, the shape of your page. That's why I say do this as a rough draft, first of all. Some learners hack it and they actually take their elevations that they've drawn and reduce that with a copier and they stick it in. That's one way of doing it. But I would really encourage you to draw the views on your ground line. And you can see the spacing here. Uh, there's still space for the standing point um, and the title block on the side. So just off the end of this page, do your ground line and draw your two views. Okay. Then your placement of your picture plane is roughly in the middle of this page and your top view and you can decide of course the more detail you add in here the better detail you will find in your two point perspective but you're going to place that at 30 60 degrees add your roof details window details all of that because all of those lines are going to be drawn and projected downward okay that's going to help you determine your left and right vanishing points but stop here for a moment. That HL was specified to be at the same height as the top of your roof. So your HL, 
you'll have to move all the way down for it to run in line with the top of this roof reach. So you're going to have a much um, lower angle on this design, on the media center, right? Your HL is going to be right here on the top of that roof line. So your right vanishing point, left vanishing point is going to be round about here. So you're going to have, although it's a bird's eye view, it's a, still a low flying bird. It's not a bird looking from the top like in this instance. Okay, and so you'll start your drawing just as you do with any other two point perspective. Make sure you've got your projection lines correctly and you'll have to take the necessary time to get this drawing correct. I would really encourage you, the details here is lesser of an importance. It really is, did you get the construction correct? And did you add the main details, right? The windows, the roofing, the doors. Don't worry too much about the fascias and the gutters, those small things, the window sills. That's really difficult to see. That picture here, once it's drawn, you can make a copy of that, enlarge that, add it to the front page, like our learner here has done. Okay? And that's going to be part of your front page. And here you can go and you can add... Uh, labels and details and colors etc okay but first of all just pull it off by getting the basics right and to do that practice this on an a3 getting your spacing correct another hack that i'd like to give you is the following okay in your jpeg workbook on page 52 there's already two point perspectives that was given to you you can pick any one 53 52 doesn't matter but there's already a spacing for your picture plane your ground line their hl is just above this roof reach you can just move that hl down and that will give you a, a correct angle on your own media center so you can use the spacings in uh, some of your actual work that you've done in class and duplicate that to get your spacings correctly on your own submission Righto, that's an overview of the two-point perspective. Better spend good enough time on this because it's not an easy one. All the best, now it's your turn.